Hey, Soma Seas, Spirit here with a special PSA. I want to give a big thank you to those of you who are true fans of the Soul Special platform, formerly known as Spirit Vibes and the Tarot Temple, respectively. But due to tarot read of theft and behind the scenes YouTube rigging and the lack of viewer support, Soul Special will be ending unless the viewers express their support to keep Soul Special returning. In order to do that, please cash out a dollar donation to Jared Got Goods. The link is in the description box. Your donation will determine your future reading. In the meantime, please enjoy this moment in time forecast, a forecast that is timeless or never ending. So whenever you get the nudge from the source, you can always come to this platform as long as it exists and view that forecast. Once again, I want to thank you so much for the views you have provided over the past five years. It is deeply appreciated. Now let's get to it and enjoy. What's going on, Eagle Feathers? Welcome back to So Special for another Moment in Time forecast. Hope you're doing well. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started because you've gotten all your messages and we're going to break the ice with a couple of trivial questions or trivia, trivia questions, okay? From the eras of 80s to the 2010s, please remember to try to get the answer before you look it up. Also, please know that somehow, some way, these questions are related to this forecast. So I hope everyone is doing well and I hope you're ready. Let's see what's going on for you. What, what message or question or this is the pop quiz, okay? What is it this source want to throw at you in the oh, oh years? Oh, oh. What teen heartthrob was one of the first YouTube sensations? I think I've had this before. What teen heartthrob was one of the first YouTube sensations? Was it A, Justin Bieber? B, Joe Jonas? C, Justin Timberlake, D, Sean Mendez, Justin Bieber, B, Joe Jonas, C, Justin Timberlake, D, Sean Mendez. What teen heartthrob was one of the first YouTube sensations? I hope I got that covered up. There you go. Cool beans. All right. Your second trivia is worldly travel. So maybe that's what's going on in your life. Got some traveling involved, making some travel plans, going places, and meeting people. Okay. Okay, dang. Oh, they're getting one, I think. Somebody got a bonus trivia question. I forget what house it was. Okay, you may be in that house one day. Okay, so you more than your sun sign. I remember, I just tell y'all that all the time. Matter of fact, your sun sign is not even the most significant sign of your natal makeup. Okay, your ascendant and your moon signs are very, very prevalent in how you go through life. So, you have what country in Africa has the most pyramids? Ooh, love it. What country in Africa? has the most pyramids. Is it A, Egypt, B, Sudan, C, Zimbabwe, D, Ethiopia? Which or what country in Africa has the most pyramids? A, Egypt, B, Sudan, C, Zimbabwe, D, Ethiopia? Again, that's Egypt, Sudan, Zimbabwe and Ethiopia. What country in Africa has the most pyramids? No cheating, okay? Think of it first. Guess, I don't care. And then look it up and see if you're right. Because it's really not about being right. It's about learning, right? <laughs> That's what I'm all about. Let's go ahead and stir the pot. But y'all didn't want to come to the school. That's cool. Moving on, moving on. Okay, 
uh, I'm gonna put those back in there so it's okay. So we deal with fire, earth, air, and a water elements for this 30 part questions. Okay, like I said, you could be in any of these elements at any time. I don't know your chart, you haven't consulted with me, so I don't know. And please know that if you need a reading at any time, I'm still available for that. Okay, this is a business, this is part charity, but it's a business. Okay, everybody got to make a living. And this is something that I know how to do is guide and coach and mentor. Okay. So, fire element. Who could you see yourself marrying in five years? Wow, that is cold. <laughs> Who could you see yourself marrying in five years? In five years? Who could you see yourself? That's in fire. Fire and desire. <laughs> See that? No, I'm just playing with you. Am I too happy to be exiting? I don't know. It's up to you. Earth. Who has the most immature sense of humor? <laughs> Who has the most immature sense of humor? Earth sign or earth element. Okay. A little fun. Okay, here we go with air. Whose phone do you want to go through the most? Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Whose phone do you want to go through the most? These, these questions seem real personable than the other ones. <laughs> Water. All right. Who always sucks up to people's parents? always suck up to people's parents okay it's not like a significant other or a friend or something who sucks up to people's parents somebody want to get in <laughs> all right let's get you a spirit vibe oracle message you were chosen for the written word okay you were chosen for the written word don't ask me why I just follow whatever the source tell me to do sometimes life is not good you just have to see the good in it all right Sometimes life is not good. You just have to see the good in it, okay? It's what I learned in life, so I gave it to y'all. I'm sure you will agree, okay? Sometimes life ain't good. See, people want us to believe <laughs> But I came to a conclusion one day, that shit ain't true. <laughs> Everything about life ain't good. But in order, you know, to vibe, you just got to see the good in it. And gratitude, you know, um... You know, it's the mother to me to enjoying life, to being happy. Okay, it is. The more gratitude we have, the softer, the easier life can be. You know, even though it's hard, believe me, your eyes know. Okay, so let's get to these cards. I don't know, I have them over here. Let's get to going and see what's in the stars for you what is set at this oh before i do that this moment in time um overall it's the nine of cups i'm gonna leave it there but let's start off with some planetary alignments real quick i keep forgetting i keep forgetting we're not in love anymore okay give me three source please give me three Four, eagle feathers, eagle feathers, eagle feathers. You have Saturn in the pentacles. You have Venus in the cups. And you have Pluto in the strawberry energy. All right, so 620 is your angel number. Look that up. Whenever you get some time, when it applies to you, it'll give you some added information to what's going on in your life at the time, what you, you know, what this number means to you at the moment in terms of life, career, money, whatever. Okay. 620. So the plans of success, which requires a lot of discipline. Okay. And we have, uh, you know, Venus. Venus is love, right? Venus is love. And it's about head, your heart over your mind. Your heart over your mind. What pleases you? What makes you happy? 
you know, what gives you um, emotional satisfaction, okay? And then you have Pluto transforming in strawberry energy. Now, strawberry energy is really good. Um, I know it, strawberries are known for whitening your teeth, you know. Strawberries is also about romance, okay? Um, but see, also with strawberries, you have to be sure that the picking is ripe, okay? That the picking is ripe. Okay, you can look up more about strawberries. I'll forget some of the other um, symbolic traits for strawberries. Um, I don't know why I'm getting picnicking, but like nick picking, but it could be picnicking, like going on a picnic. I don't know why I'm getting that, but nick picking is also something that's coming to me. Okay, let's finish up with these cards. So we have the Nine of Cups is your overall energy. You may be attending um, a meeting, you know, um, now this is my arts and business council to a place where people share their ideas or let you in on business ideas, or you may be looking at something online or you will be, or you have when you get to this forecast, but it's it's all these loving, affectionate thoughts. You could be in a public place, you could be at home, you'd be in front of the TV, but you're having all of these affectionate, loving, idealistic thoughts. Now, it could be in terms of what you're creating, because we do have Saturn here with, with the Venus number, which lets me know that this will require some type of partnership. Now, this is a partnership that you will definitely have to work on. You have to know where it's leading. It's a, it's a purposed relationship, whomever it's with. There's purpose here because without that purpose, you may not be together. Okay? It's probably where that picnic is coming up. You know, special time together. Whatever you're trying to make out of it, it requires attention and discipline. But it's, it's, it's not that you don't have a lot of love for the person in the relationship. You do. I don't know if you're with somebody or not. Who could you see yourself marrying in five years? Damn. There you go. It's probably somebody who saw up to your parents. I don't know. We have the moon um, energy in reverse. We have the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Queen of Cups, the Fool in reverse, the Page of Swords in reverse, the Ten of Swords in reverse, underlining your energies, the Three of Wands reverse. You don't have to wait no more, okay? The ships have come in, okay? I don't know if this is your future spouse, you know, I don't know if this is a order. Um, again, this could be in regards to something that you've seen on TV or online, like I said, the shipment has come in that maybe you ordering some things regarding your ideas. Okay. And that very could well be because we have the queen of cups here. The queen of cups is known for sensitivity and, um, guidance. Okay. She's an assistant. She helps. She likes to help. You know, this person could also be clinical. This could be the person that you have this loving connection with okay because we do have the moon here and you know your path you know your path you know where you want to go you know where you want to travel this could be someone assisting you like a travel agent a lot of times i see the queen of cups is someone that's very clinical okay nurses dietitians uh estheticians uh even cosmetologists um Phlebotomist, you know, somebody that's very clinical, okay? But you don't have to look anymore. And I see that you're going back to the drawing board or you're going a different route than what you thought before. And you're doing it really fast. Now, you do have some hurdles that you have to jump over. In fact, Egypt or Africa may see, talk about the country that Africa has the most pyramids. This may be some place that you'd be visiting or where you reside because I see pyramids here. Okay. Again, we said travel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm 
these ideas, or this could also be your dream job. The work you want to do could be out of Africa, some part in Africa, or related to Africa, okay? It's just here in my face. That's what she's giving me. It's a lot of things I could say, but I give you what source gives me, okay? Now, there's some risk involved because this is all brand new to you. Going in a whole total different direction can, takes courage, okay? But you don't care. You're going to do it anyway. You're going to take that leap of faith and you're going to try something different. Keep getting, like you're going to jump. You know, you're going to jump, jump, jump to it. You're going to jump in it. You're going to get in it. You're going to, like they say, they used to say to people who were like maybe starting something new, sometimes you got to, you know, go to the edge of the cliff. You got to take that risk, you know. And maybe you feel like you've been at the edge, you know, with your ideas, with your career, with your relationships. Um, but now that you have some inner sight, you know where you want to go and you know, and you know what, this could be a spur of the moment change of mind. Cause you're normally going one way, but then you'll decide, no, I'm gonna go this way. Lucky for you, because I feel like it's kind of like your salvation. It's where you get help. It's where you get rescue. It's where you get out of a dead end. Okay. No more drama. Okay. Um, I'm seeing here too some some whatever you've been going through, you may have been su suicidal or suicidal thoughts, and that's okay. Okay, that's okay, and that may have been one of the hurdles you had to jump through, because maybe it's been so long, you know. Life, oh, there's sometimes life is not good. You just have to see the good in it, you know, and maybe this is the refuge, you know, seeing the good in the struggle. Okay. Because sometimes life sucks. Ain't nobody going to tell me every day is good. <laughs> okay. But the conflict is. I'm, I'm kind of getting like this, like somebody that's kind of like spying on you or looking in on what you're trying to do, trying to trying to take your ideas, or, you know, kind of up in your business. Um, get back to me messages, shit like that. It's irritating. It's like somebody's checking in and out. Okay, sorry about that, Equal Fellas. We got disconnected. But somebody is, like, getting messages and trying to see, you know, where you're going. <laughs> if you're on a certain street, you know, if you on the road, on the street or something. Like, they're getting these messages, this, these check up on you type of messages. I don't know if this, it's a conflict. I don't think you agree with this. Okay. But they definitely seeing you jumping hurdles and and taking chances and um, escaping dramas and hardships. You know, this is near death experiences here. Okay, you a miracle. Okay, sometimes life is not good. You just have to see the good in it. And I think that's really your refuge and your rescue right there is recognizing that and getting the answer to knowing your path. When I see the ten of swords, I always say God is in it. The most high is in it. Okay. Um, and maybe it took this for you to see where you need to be in your career. Whether you're an artist, whether you work in a nine to five, you know, whether you're a business person, I don't know. But it took a tragedy. It took a trauma. It took some real dramatic drama for you to see your calling, to see the role of, of which you're supposed to be on. And 
I feel like you had to get, you know, be very, um, get really deep, go really deep within, like go to the whale type energy. Like when you go to the whale, they say you got to go really, 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 really deep. Cause if you don't go down deep enough, you'll still come up empty. Right. And we're dealing with, um, the whale, you know, you go there to get water. Right. And you can go without food, but we can't really go without that water. Right. So I feel like that's a type of experience that you're having, you will have, or you're in it right now. But just know that you will know, and that'll be your rescue. That'll be your refuge. Okay. Um, sometimes it's just accepting your path. And that's why you don't have to wait anymore. Okay, because you know what's coming or you've been delivered. Okay. Going back to the drawing board, starting over for you artists and business people. Okay. To some of you seeking assistance, you know, would be very helpful. Now, for some of you, this assistance could be, if you're in America, could be 311. It's going to help you get over this hurdle going to let you know which direction you need to go in. For some of you, this direction is east. Oh, Africa is east, right? Okay, east. Northeast, southeast, I'm not sure. But for my direction, it would be east. That's what I'm getting, east. For whatever reason. So yeah, paying attention, paying attention to something or somebody to know where your path lies, what path to take. Now this could also literally be like, again, a road or a street, an address to get somewhere. And you're figuring, hey, in the last minute, oh, I'm going to take this route. This will be quicker or easier, or maybe you will get something, obtain something going in that direction. This is this is the direction of your future. And this is all new. Okay. There's healing here as well. Physical healing. Physical healing. Let's sum it up. Okay. So we have imprisonment in reverse with thought and the main female. So some of you have to break a bad mental cycle by how you think you've been locked and chained mentally. Maybe it's coming from with these cups and these swords. It could be a spiritual space and place. And sometimes you have to break those chains in order to have progress. You have to have experiences that give you new thought patterns, okay? You can't see the world the same no more once you get a new truth. You don't know nothing unless you have actually experienced this. And this is kind of unlocking your mind. Um, and you are reflecting, you males, on a feminine. Okay? You're reflecting on a feminine. This feminine may be the one, again, it could be this queen of cups who's helping you break mental chains. Okay? This person can also become the main female here in your life that we talk about romance. Yay, yay. Everybody wants some. Also, you know, like when you get out of prison, you know, you've been thinking about this person the whole time if you've been in prison, but somehow this main female is a supporter. It'll be the person who will put you on your path. This main female is the answer for you. It's the main female that's the answer for you. You you may you may not even know it. You may, may not even have personal contact with this person. Some of you. This could be somebody again that you see online. You know where you're streaming. You know TV, whatever. But um, she's gonna help you see clearly. Okay. There's something here about a canopy. Yeah, I know normally canopy is. On your bed, I don't know if it's got to do with um, Africa. I don't know if it's Africa related or not. Mm, 
but where does your fate lies in this moment in time and soothes? Okay. It's kind of look like an elf where you feel like maybe you have failed, but now you're about to succeed going through these dramas and traumas and, and painful experiences. Okay. Um, Ansu, a revealing message. Didn't I say that? A revealing message or insight, communication, signals, inspiration, enthusiasm, speech, true vision. Oh my gosh, true vision, power of words. I talked about that. Somebody baby tell you something. This main female to unlock your thinking and naming. Power of words and naming. I don't know. Maybe you're naming a, a business or you're putting a name on it. You know what I'm saying? It gives you understanding. Blessings and the taking of advice. This was so right on for you, Eagle Feathers. And I am going to leave it here. I want to thank you so much for being a part of So Special Platform, formerly known as Spirit Vibes and the Tarot Temple. You know it. And, um, I don't know, maybe we'll see each other in the future. Whether we do or not, if you're on your path, okay, you're following the light, I wish you many blessings. And um, if you ever need a reading, you can always hit me up. Just check the description box. Until then, take care of yourself. Peace and one love.